everyone it's Maria here from Poppy Citrus Crafts thank you so much for joining me I would like to thank everybody that has uh, watched my videos um, given me feedback and shares also and has subscribed I really appreciate you all very much so thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos I pre really really appreciate it so today I'm going to show you very quickly how to sublimate on uh, ceramic ornaments like this um, you can find these um, off um, Amazon and the like. Um, I will link uh, where I got mine in the description box below. And um, yeah, are these, these make really fun gifts or if you like you can make them into tags for whatever occasion you wish. Um, these also can be used as ornaments as well for Christmas. They make great gifts and I've had a... A lovely friend of mine asked me to make her a couple so she can give away as gifts so these are really really fun these come also with the gold um, some gold thread or string whatever you want to call it and um, and they also come with an individual bubble wrap as well so that's really cool so if you want to ship them off that they, they they're very good so the equipment we're using today is I'm going to use some heat tape I've got a lint free cloth some scissors, I've got some butcher paper which you need to cover the ornaments, um, I've got some heat gloves, they're a must, um, heat, uh, sorry, um, dye sublimation transfer general purpose paper, I'm using the one from Epson, but feel free to use a sub or whatever brand you like. Um, I have a Shaw Color F160 uh, sublimation dedicated printer and that's what I'm using today to um, print the, my images from. So we'll get started. Uh, I'm going to next take you to the computer, show you how I designed it, what settings I'm using on the printer, and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at the print uh, a little more uh, up close and personal. So see you shortly. Okay, hi everyone. So I'm in my Silhouette Business Edition software and I have a couple of ornaments that I was asked to make and these are the ornaments I'm making these are of a couple of um, pets and these make really cute Christmas gifts so this is a great idea so what I'm going to do is I've already uh, cropped pictures and put Merry Christmas on there and these are so cute so what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to highlight them and I'm going to flip them horizontally so that when we put them through the printer we um, to have to print them mirrored so that when we sublimate them they will uh, come around the right way. So when I go into my settings, I go into my file, I'm going to do print um, and then I'll say print. I'll change my printer to my um, Shaw Color F100 series printer, go to my settings um, I'll go A4, general purpose rigid because that you either have the choice between rigid and textile, so it's rigid because it's um, a hard surface. Then we just go to high, then I'll press OK, we'll print it out, and then we're done. So I'll see you, um, I'll just, my next view will be of the printer printing out the image, and then I will show you how I uh, tape these images up onto my um and do all the preparation so i'll see you again shortly so we've just finished now printing the um the the images that we want to sublimate with so these are the images here up close the printer did a really really good job in in printing these um they look fantastic so these would make really good um gifts as i said so this is very cute so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring out the ornaments they've got like a dull side and the shiny side the shiny side is where we print on that so what you have to do with each of those is give them a little wipe so that there's no lint on them because any any lint that's left on them it, when when we sublimate it turns blue and it's permanent so this is the way to do that so that's nice and clean so I'll leave that to the side there and I won't touch the surface and uh, I'll get out the other one and as you can see that's the glossy side and then there's that matte side you can't sublimate on this side with these particular ones but on this side you can and I'll give these a quick wipe as well 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to position them on the paper. Now over here I've noticed, I'm not sure if you can see that, there's a bit of um, black ink. We need to cut that out because when you sublimate this will go onto your, I don't want to leave anything to chance so I'm going to take that off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to position my ornament right on where it's supposed to be. So what I do is I get some heat tape and I really try and tape this down with quite a bit of tape. And now the reason is to make sure that this does not move when my heat press goes up. And I'll explain when we're at the heat press what the problem with that is. With the HTV Ront heat press, you only have 99 seconds per go, uh, up to 99 seconds. It's not 100% user defined. So that means you have to do you know, a few presses in order for it to do the, the time that is required. Now I have um, used the instructions from the Cricut Heat Guide, um, which is when, when sublimating ceramic coasters, it's 400 degrees Fahrenheit at uh, 240 seconds. So that means that I will have to uh, put the press up and down a total of three times. So that is why. Now this is quite secure. So when the heat press goes up or down, this will not move. I've had much success doing that with the HTV Ront heat press. And I've had absolutely no issues with that at all whatsoever. So um, that's what I'll be doing. And um, yeah, so it, it works out very well. So I will come back once I've taped this. I'll take you to the heat press and we'll go through it from there. So see you again shortly. Finish now taping these down. These will be facing up on the platen with the heat press. So. I've just got a cup, uh, a piece here of uh, butcher paper. That's for one. I forgot to bring another butcher paper, but I'll bring some more and I'll take over to the heat press and we're done. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so the heat press is now heated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with 99 seconds Fahrenheit. Sorry, I'll say that properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out the drawer and I'm going to place my um, ornaments so this one I've taped that one well this one will go face up with the image and this one will also make sure I face that up as well And what I'm going to add as well is a Teflon sheet. This will stop the paper from sticking to the upper platen. Instead, it will just stick onto this. So that we shall have um, the images not blur. Because I've done this successfully with this uh, heat press without an issue. So, first go, 99 seconds. And then we'll press it again once that comes up for another 99 seconds. So it's about to now uh, go up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Teflon sheet so it doesn't stick to the upper platen. And then I'm going to press it again. That's for the second time. Okay, so this is now about to finish the second time of the 99 seconds. I'm going to hold the Teflon sheet down. Okay, and then I'm going to change the time down to 40 seconds. 
and it ends up being 238 seconds but a couple of seconds is not going to kill it so I'm just going to press that down for another 40 seconds and then we're done. Okay, so we've now finished the last of that. I'm going to pull my uh, plate out, the drawer out, and they're quite hot, so just as a warning, but we can tell that they have um, come through. And it's the same with the other one. Try and get that off my platen. So that looks like that's come through too. So um, I'll take these off. Turn that off. And then um, I'll just let them cool down because they are quite hot and they are very hot to touch. So uh, I'll let them cool down and then we will take the... Um, I'll actually qu quickly take it off now so you can see. All of that turned out so cute. This is quite hot, just as a warning. But that turned out cute. I'm just going to put that onto my chopping board there. Do the next one very quickly. So always have heat gloves on when you do this. That one didn't turn out so great. I think it's a little bit of the paper stuck on there. Not an issue. Once the um, it cools down a little, I'll uh, I'll just rub that off with some water. So not to worry, but it did turn out very very nicely. So I'll see you at the craft desk once this is done, and uh, we'll go through it all shortly. So now I'm back at the craft desk, and basically they cool down pretty quick. But here is this one up close. Isn't that cute? That turned out so well. I am so impressed and there's no ghosting. So if you are wondering, is it possible to sublimate uh, ceramic items with the HTV Ront heat press? Yes, you can, even though it only has a limit of 99 seconds per go as its maximum, you can put the uh, platen to go down again as many times as you need to get to that uh, that time that you need. The secret is to make sure that the paper does not lift when the platen lifts. So in order to ensure that that doesn't happen you need to tape it down. So that's how that turned out. I think that turned out really really cute. Now this turned out great as well. The problem is here, it's not really a problem, it does happen, is that sometimes the paper does get stuck. It's not an issue that gets easily removed. I've got a wet tissue here. You just, after you've um, sublimated these, it comes right off. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a wipe on my t-shirt here. But that has come off and it is perfect. So that's the beauty of sublimation is that it becomes permanent once you've done that. So these make awesome gifts for Christmas. You can personalize them with photos of your pets, your family, and even if you don't want um, you know, photos, you can do a whole heap of other images as well. The sky's the limit. So I hope you found this helpful and also know that the HTV Ront Heat Press can handle ceramic ornaments and ceramic items as well okay guys have a wonderful day thank you for watching if you haven't already please share like and subscribe that helps me out a lot and it also helps me to create content and keep this going for you thank you all so much and i will see you again next time bye